What's up, everyone? So do you got a WordPress, a WooCommerce website, and well, the emails are just not working like they're supposed to. Uh, maybe they're going into the spam or junk mail. Uh, maybe they're just taking a whole long time to go through. You know, like when you select on lost password and you're waiting from that link from WordPress, uh, they could be getting flagged for phishing or possibly they're just not coming through at all. Well, an SMTP, it solves all these. And if you have a WordPress, especially if you have a WooCommerce website, you have to have an SMTP connected to it in order for the emails that are coming out of your website to work properly and reliably. Now, setting up an SMTP with Cloudways is super easy to do. And in this video, we're gonna focus specifically on setting it up with Cloudways. Now, there's several different ways and other services you could use, but we use Cloudways. And the way I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna take you through step by step. That way, even if you're non-technical, you don't know anything about hosting, or if you never even heard the word or term SMTP, you can follow along and you'll be able to achieve this by the end of the video. Now, real quick, before we get into the tutorial, if you're wondering what Cloudways is, it's a hosting provider that does cloud-based hosting and it's what we use. I have a design business. We build several websites for clients and we also do WordPress maintenance. So we maintain and manage many, many sites and all of them are on Cloudways. So, and I already made a video about why we do this. Uh, I'll put a link to that video inside the description. I'll also put a link to Cloudways as well. Uh, it does help support this channel if you wanna get Cloudways. We use it, I've been using it now for two years. Uh, and one thing to check out too when you're there, check out DigitalOcean Premium. They just came out with it. I, I probably will make another video on it, but basically what DigitalOcean Premium is, think of it as like an old MacBook Pro. You know, it's a couple years old, maybe a few years old. And then you buy a new one, it's got new processors, a brand new chip on it, it's got, you know, the faster SSD, and it just runs a whole lot faster. Well, that's what DigitalOcean Premium is. It, you had DigitalOcean, which was a fast, server fast hosting now you got digital ocean premium which is an upgraded version and i've been running tests and been getting great results with enough of that though let's go ahead and just dive into this tutorial what you came here for so first off let's go ahead and open up your windows all right so what we want to do to start off with we want to open up four windows that way everything is prepared the first one is go to your website and go to the back end of your dashboard and make sure that is open on the second window, go to your Cloudways and make sure you're logged in in the back. Uh, you should be here on your servers right here. On the third tab, we wanna make sure that you have open your DNS management. Now this is gonna be the DNS for the URL that you're using. So whatever your website is and wherever you bought it from, you gotta go to your DNS settings. I'm using uh, GoDaddy right here. So this is what GoDaddy will look like. Uh, but it's all going to depend on where you got your domain. You want to go to your DNS records, wherever that is at in your domain. Your records will be very similar to this. And what I show you is going to work on well, all of them. It'll work on yours. It might look a little different, but it's going to work. The next one is we want to open up this window right here. And I got a link to this. The link to this window is in the description please open that one up as well because the reason why we need this window here is if we scroll down, we're gonna see right here this information. So you see right here SPF and then we got this information. Now, these are the records we need to add into the DNS. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take these records and a couple more and we're gonna put them right into here into your DNS records. So let's go ahead and start by doing that first. So there's gonna be four of them to add and just in case this web page changes, I'm also going to add this inside the description as well. And this is basically uh, the records typed out. So I'll, I'll include this too because uh, sometimes blog posts go down. You might be watching this two years from now. Okay, so first one right here we need to open up a text record. So go over to your records, select on add, and you wanna choose text. And we're just gonna copy and paste this stuff in. So we got the at. 
So you could put the at right there. You want to put your text value. Text value right there. And you can put this at as low as you want. I'm going to do custom and I'm going to do 600 seconds. So that way it goes a little bit faster. Click save. And one thing too, if uh, you can't put at, you could also just put your domain. Some, some DNS records are a little bit different. So it's either going to be an at or might just be your domain. All right, click on save. Let's go to the next one. And now we got to add this DKIM record right here. It's another text. So let's go ahead and click on add. Select on text. Let me scroll that up there. And then let's copy and paste this. We'll put in the API domain key. We're going to put that into the host. And then we'll put the text value. It's a long one right here. So we'll click that one. And then same thing right here on the TTL. We're going to put custom and 600. And what this TTL does is it's basically saying how long do we want to have this to take effect. And I want to get it as quick as possible. All right, let's go to the next one. And now we're going to do the tracking. This one right here, we're going to add a C name. So let's go back here. Click on add, and then we're going to go to C name. Oh, let me scroll that back down. All right, for the name host alias, we're going to put in tracking. All right, then the value or points to is going to be the elastic API for elasticmail.com. And then again, let's go ahead and put custom and put 600 seconds and save. And now there's just one more. And don't worry about the MX. What we need to do is our D mark right here. This gives you several different options. Don't worry about all the options that gets into more technical stuff. We just need it to connect. So let's just choose option number one. So this one is going to be a text. Let's go back here, select on add. Then we'll do text. And for the host name or alias name, let's go ahead and put this underscore D mark. And then for the text value, let's go ahead and copy and paste this over. And again, let's put 600 seconds. All right, and that's it now. We're good to go on the DNS. The DNS is all set up correctly. Now let's go over to your Cloudways. So navigate over to Cloudways to the back. And up here in this little box right here, this little uh, three or nine grid box, click on that. And we're gonna select right here on add-ons. So choose add-ons. And then back here, we're going to look for Elastic Email. So this is the SMTP that we're using. It's the name of the SMTP that's built in with Cloudways. As you can see, we're already using it. Uh, in fact, we're using a lot of it because we have a lot of websites uh, being used on here. In fact, look at the number right here. We got 61, almost 6,200 websites already this month. And we're only halfway in the month right now. All right. So... Yours is probably going to look empty. What you want to do is click on the little pencil and select which plan you want. Now it's super cheap. If you just got one website, you could just start off on the small plan, a thousand emails for 10 cents a month. Uh, or you could just be on the safe side and do like 3000 or 5000. So you just need to choose which package you want, select it, and then select on the update subscription. Once you have that, navigate back over to your servers and find the server that your website is on that you want to connect it to. Click on your server. So this is a server I'm going to connect it to right now. Right down here on the bottom, go to SMTP, select on that. And then choose 
the SMTP you want to use. Now you could use your own. Like I said in the beginning of the video, there are other options for SMTPs. You don't have to use Cloudways uh, built-in SMTP. You could use a third party, including Gmail. For this one though, we're going to use Cloudways built-in because it's a lot easier. I love having everything centralized. It's just one of the things I like about Cloudways is I have everything in just one spot and it's not, it doesn't cost anything barely. So let's go ahead and select on Elastic Email and enable it. All right, and then you will get a confirmation message up here. It shows you that everything is good. It's been enabled. Now you have the option to send a test email, but first I wanna verify everything is connecting. There's one more step we need to do on our website as well. So now go back over to the dashboard of your website and go to plugins. And here we're going to add an additional plugin. You could just put in SMTP right here and the one we're looking for will come up at the top and go ahead and choose the WP mail right here and install that one. And we do not need to do the wizard right now. Let's just go ahead and click on go back to the dashboard. So there's only one thing that we need to do. It's quite easy actually. So don't worry about pro. We don't need a pro version. You don't need to put any of that in. Just go ahead and make sure you got the right email in there. The email is coming from your website. What email do you want it to show? So it could be your business email. It could be like hello at whatever your website domain is. You want to make sure this is the email that your customers or your audience is going to see. Same thing here, you could go ahead and put in your name. You could go ahead and put in your real name, your company name. Like right here, I will put in like Jeffrey uh, Lightbox because that's what I would like people to see when they get my email. And I would probably also put in right here, hello at Lightbox. And then I would also click on force from name. I don't worry about the return path. You could put it on or off, but right here, this is the important part right here. So these are the other services I was talking about. These are the different ones that you could use, but we're not using any of those. So all we're going to do is leave it on PHP. That's it. Now let's go back over to Cloudways and make sure everything is connected and working like it should. So go back to Cloudways, go back to your add-ons, select add-on. And now once you're on your add-on page, navigate back down to Elastic Email and click right here on this little shield icon. And here we're going to verify that everything is connected and running right. This will tell us if everything is right on here, if everything is connected correctly. So let's give it a try. Put in your domain. Select on verify domain. It could take a few minutes or a few seconds. And that was a few seconds, it was quick, and we can see everything is in the green. Now, if something wasn't connected between all these, it'll tell us it'll be red, and then we could go and find out what it is. And one thing that is great too about Cloudways is if it's red and you're stuck, you could just go right over here to need a hand, and you could go ahead and select on a live chat and talk to somebody right away. It's, it's pretty great. I, I haven't seen this with another host. I'm sure there might be another one, but I haven't had that before. So everything is looking good now. Let's go ahead and go back over to our server. I want to check it out and run a quick test to myself. Make sure everything is good. Go ahead and select on your server. Go back down to SMTP. And then from here, you could go ahead and send a test email. And that's it. Your website should be all connected now and it should be sending out emails just like it's supposed to do. I really hope this video was useful for you, that it was easy to follow along. Let me know if you have any questions, drop them in the comments. I get back to everybody. Also, if you have anything else that you would like me to show on Cloudways, let me know. I've been using this platform now for a couple of years. Uh, there's more things that we could do with it and I'd be happy to show you. So. I'll be back again soon with more web design related content. Thank you.